Welcome to my world. Two escargot, pate, frise, two green salads. Okay, man, it's not here. Lamb chops, steak frites. Shouldn't you be doing something? Two faux filet and a pepper steak. Come on, make the dessert. Chocolate tart, please. As a cook, tastes and smells are my memories. And now I'm in search of new ones. So I'm leaving New York City and hope to have a few epiphanies around the world. And I'm willing to go to some lengths to do that. I am looking for extremes of emotion and experience. I'll try anything. I'll risk everything. I have nothing to lose. In the beginning, it was the Romans that started it. Somehow, the evil French caught on. They ran with it, nurtured the thing and developed it. And soon, there was nowhere in the Western world where the French did not rule. Their cuisine, their techniques preeminent, all bowed down to the cruel and sore stretch ways. And then, a new and strange and wondrous thing began to take hold. In New York and San Francisco, from London to Sydney, Melbourne to the vast empty spaces of the wasteland, as in the beginning, a few mad adventurers went looking for something different. Men like Tony Bourdain, the food warrior. Push a man to the brink and he'll go far for the good stuff. Tetsuya Wakuda, widely regarded as Australia's best chef and one of the world's most original. You want to meet Tets? Stick with me. I'm on my way to his restaurant in Sydney via the Australian Outback. That's funny. Where'd he come from? What do people always tailgate on an empty highway? Well, he picked the wrong chef to mess with. Dinner. Nothing, I say nothing, is going to slow me down. Okay, this'll slow me down. Note to self, remember to buy book on automotive repair before next episode. Well, looks like I'm in for a bit of a walk. Hey, Max, come on, Max, let's go. Hungry boy? Yeah, me too. Luckily, we have some snacks. For Monsieur? Femur of kangaroo found on the highway. And for me, Vegemite. A sludgy, salty paste made from fermented yeast extract. Vegemite? Oh yeah, that's a good sign. The dog prefers roadkill. Aussies are nuts about this stuff. They usually eat it for breakfast on toast. Bottoms up. Aussies are wrong about one thing. Right, Max? Max? Here, Max. Stupid rented dog. Probably went off and got lost. Max, here, boy. Now I'm starting to get a little worried. The sun's going down in a few hours, and I'm hungry. Not to mention thirsty. Great. Bourdain's sun-dried carcass found an Australian outback beset by dingoes. He was survived by his dog, Max. For 50,000 years, Aboriginal peoples have lived off the land in the Australian outback. 
They survived off their knowledge of edible plants and the habits of animals. Where to find them, what was safe to eat, what was not. Hey, you. Come with me. Food, beer. Ladies and gents, meet Raba. Lucky for me, at least somebody was out for a little walk. Turns out Robbo and his friend Claude are having a cookout nearby with their friend Steve. Hey, you guys, I found an American. All three are experts in bush tucker, or the edible stuff, the bush. So, what are you guys making? No, that's not dinner. Well, not exactly. Off the wattle seed, there's a bush, the greenest bush out here. The wattle seed is the food what we're going to eat. And also, the pod makes a beautiful soap. This is the pod. Dry pod. Wattle seed, the multi-purpose plant. Clean. Mmm, sudsy delicious. Kills bacteria and nourishing for the whole family. Does this make anyone else nervous? That's the wattle seed. That's roasted and then ground like coffee. It just smells just like coffee, hazelnut, and chocolate. And it's five times higher in protein than Durham wheat. The flour for the dough for the Johnny cake. Johnny cakes are a relative of spoon bread. We've seen this in the Caribbean. Native Americans do something like this. It's interesting, you know, when you see similar foods grow up in different cultures separated by, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. And then we just add the beer. Beer. We didn't see that in our Caribbean Johnny cakes. Oh, you'd have to open another one. Uh, okay, I think I can handle that. All right, so we leave that. There's our ball. Then we'll break that up into little cakes. You can see the dark wattle seed in the flour dough. While Steve puts on the Johnny cakes, it's suggested I make myself useful by lightly blanching a bucket of local wild greens. I got to admit, it looks like dinner might actually be good. <laughs> the outdoor life for me. I'm such a nature boy. Right in the eye, yeah, direct hit. Flies, flies, oh, delicious flies. While I finish blanching the greens, Claude and Robbo start the main course. You know, put the kangaroo on? Kangaroo. I've never had kangaroo before. The way I'm feeling now, I can eat a full kangaroo. Been marinated? In a fruity uh, bush tomato chutney, these are the bush tomatoes, out of 156 species, this is the only one that you can safely eat off the bush. The rest are toxic. How toxic? Uh, they'll kill you. Oh, so I, I won't go foraging for these. Uh... There's the fruit ripening, that's toxic. Then there's the dried berry, and you can see the calyx is drying. See how that one's dry? It'll right. come off. This is 